Hi, and welcome to the Eason Mustreads for spring 2021 uh, with myself and Sinead. And we were just figuring out today that it's been, I think, a year since you and I have physically seen each other in the real world. I mean, in the same as for so many other people, it's been that way. It was a year ago, but the last time we were in the same room. And now it's a bit grim, actually. It's a bit grim just thinking about it. I, I thought we'd be out by now. Um, but anyway, here we are still in the office. Um, yeah, look, hopefully, hopefully soon. But um, uh, at least reading, I think, is the only thing that has kept me sane. Um, I just think that it's the only, only real escape you get. Because even when I'm watching Netflix, I'm flicking back and forth on my phone. I'm not completely immersed. Whereas actually reading has been the only thing that completely switches me off. And it usually takes about five minutes to kind of just calm your mind down. But God, it's a blessed relief from the news, I have to say. I've, I've done that. I've actually deleted all of the news apps off my phone and I've read, I think I'm on book 15 this year so far, which for even for me is quite a solid, yeah. really decent pace. Um, the, the weird thing is, though, obviously you and I have eight books now to recommend for spring 2021. I realized, and I don't know if you have or anyone else has, I think this is the first time I've ever picked four men. I've never picked four male authors in one section before. And I was just looking the other day and went, oh, it just happens to, to be OK. Yeah, um, there are four great books. We will talk about them in detail uh, later on. But uh, yeah. it's got the brand new one from Kieran McMenamin. It's called Sunken Road. That's his second book, which is just super. Um, a second book again from another Irish author, Connor O'Callaghan, with uh, We Are Not In The World. And then one that I got overly excited about when I got it before Christmas and I, I literally had to hide under a desk and wasn't allowed to, to, to put my head up when I was reading it because it was Ishiguro's new one, um, Clara and the Sun. And then the fourth of my fourth was something I wasn't expecting at all. His name is Caleb Azuma Nelson and it's a debut from him and he's a, a London author and it's called Open Water. And they're, they're four cracking books. They're four I feel intensely passionate about this time around. Yeah, well, it's interesting. I only have I have one man and three women, so at least so at least I'm I'm balancing it out a bit. Um, Billy O'Callaghan's life sentences. I mean, he is just a beautiful writer. I think we're going to hear a lot more from him. Um, Ashley Audrain, who's written a fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Book called The Push, which you actually to the very last sentence you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, Ali Benjamin, who's better known as a children's writer, but she has now written her first adult novel, which is called The Smash Up. And then Monica McInerney, who is an Australian writer, but she's kind of Irish because she's married to an Irish guy and she lives here. And her new book, The Godmothers, which is just, you know, a warm hug of a read. So, yeah, so I've got uh, three women and one man. So I think they have a nice mixture, nice mixture going. It's interesting, actually, because I, everyone, I've, everyone I've spoken to and I actually did a kind of a survey in inverted commas on Facebook. A lot of people are looking for comfort reads at the moment, you know, something just very comfortable. They don't want to have to work too hard. And I, I kind of I, I feel that uh, what I've chosen here is going to be of comfort. I, I've looked at mine and I think all of mine are under 300 pages as well. There's a lot of conversations about people looking for nice short reads as well. So I think that's that's going to help with those um, hugely as well. But uh, we hope you enjoy all eight of them for our spring reads for 2021. Please <laughs> 